from the struggles of life, through trials, through tribulations, through toils, through sickness, through prison, even death cannot separate me from the love of God, for I am an overcomer. Hey, friends and family. So what you just heard there was my new intro. I hope you like it. So I got that from the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 38 and 39. It reads, For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. I said that I was going to be consistent with my videos. Well, today after work, I was actually planning to go and stand near the front of San Quentin. But however, I ran into this gentleman whom I thought was someone that I knew from prison. But except this time, he had a bald head. And so I saw him walking his dog and then it was right before you get into the gate to San Quentin. So there's a place called San Quentin Village. It takes you straight into the prison. When I saw this gentleman and he was parked behind me, so when, as he got into the car, I turned around and said, Hey, what's up, brother? How you doing? How long have you been out? He said, huh? I said, aren't you Musa? He said, no, I'm Craig. I said, oh, I'm sorry. I've mistaken you for someone that I know from in there, and I pointed to the prison. But the however, that led us to a conversation. And he said, you were in San Quentin? And he said, you were in San Quentin? I said, yeah. I did 21 years in prison. And in 2016, I've walked out of that gate. And I was actually here to film a video. And so I told him my testimony. I shared with him how I landed in prison and my story of how I met my pastor, which led me to the church that I attend, and also where I met my wife. So as I was sharing with him, he started to tear up. And he was saying, man, your story really touched me. And so I asked him, do you know Jesus? And so I told him, the same God who rescued me from that dark place, that cold, damp prison, is the same God who can also rescue you. I asked him, would you like me to pray for you? And then I prayed for him. And he actually had a good testimony. He was once homeless and now owned a corporation. But that's besides the fact. The fact is, is that we, as believers, can be light of the world. So what about you? Well, some of you right now that are listening to me, do you know Jesus? Have you been in that cold, dark place where you felt that you were all alone and no one cared and that you had no one to turn to, but you could always turn to God? Always turn to Him. For He is the only true God. And the same God that rescued me from that prison cell, the same God who took me from the ground, from the dirt, from the mud, is the same God who can also rescue you.